All right, so today we're going to practice decision making in our programming language using if else conditional statement. But before talking about if else statement, let's review some important Boolean expression in R as it is a requirement for if else statement. These are uh, some important Boolean operators. For example, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, so when you use double equal, it shows uh, exactly equal to. When you use exclamation mark and then equal, it shows not equal to. Exclamation of the variable, it shows not that variable or not that object. And this uh, vertical bar shows or operator and this ampersand uh, operation uh, shows and operator. So uh, one thing that you should keep in mind is that the result of Boolean expression is either true or false, okay? And we will use this Boolean expression in conditional statement. So let's see a couple of examples in R to better understand Boolean expressions. If I type one is less than three, is one is less than three, so here is a Boolean expression less than, right? So the output is gonna be true or false, and we know that one is less than three. So the output is true, okay? So how about one is greater than the three? So again, Boolean expression, the uh, output, the result of Boolean expression is either true or false, and it's gonna be false. So let's say X is uh, an object like five, and Y is another object like six. So I wanna check whether these two are equal or not. So I use double equal. Is X exactly equal to Y? And the output is false. And how about X? Uh, is x is not equal to y and the output is true because this x is not 5. And uh, you can also apply these boolean expressions that we just talked about that to a vector. It's not just a single value. For example, let's say x is a vector of uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we have a vector and I want to see the result of x greater than or equal to 3, okay? So what do you think about the, this, the result of this expression? So this uh, condition or this expression will be applied to each element of this vector, okay? If it satisfies the criteria, it will return true. Otherwise, it will return false. Is 0 greater than or equal to 3? No, so false. Is 1 greater than or equal to 3? False. 2? False. 3 is it greater than or equal to 3? Yes, it's equal to 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, all of them are greater than or equal to 3. So the output's going to be false, false, false until 2, and then true, true, true. Okay? So Boolean expression can be applied to a vector as well. So let's make this uh, more complicated. Let's say x double equal to 3, or x is greater than 5. So what does it mean? It means that if any of these elements was 3, okay, so it's going to be true, or if x was greater than 5, okay, so 6, 7, and 3 will be 3, otherwise going to be false, okay. So 0 is great, exactly 3, no. 0 is greater than 5, so no, so it's going to be false. 1 is exactly 3, no. Greater than 5, no. So it's going to be false. 2 exactly 3, no. 2 greater than 5, no. 3 exactly 3, yes. Okay, so it's going to be selected. 4 exactly 3, no. 4 is not greater than 5. Even 5 is not exactly 3 and it's not greater than 5, so it's going to be false. So that's uh, that was the Boolean expression. Now, based on this background knowledge, we can talk about if-else conditional statement. So in the conditional statement, we would like to check if the condition is true or false, okay? So if the condition was true, some certain actions will happen, and else other actions will happen, okay? So how we can apply this in our programming language, how we can uh, uh, write a general syntax for, uh, you know, if-else statement. So the general syntax for if-else statement is in the our programming language, first of all, we begin with the word if, the keyword if, and then followed by parentheses, 
and within the parentheses you will have your condition so we will write our condition here okay so we will here we will have our condition uh, which is a boolean expression that we just talked about that and we know that the output is true or false okay so if this condition was true then uh, we will have you have to open and close the uh, curly brackets okay and if the condition was true some statements okay so we will have some statements here will be executed okay so it can be one statement it can be two or it can be multiple statements so if the condition was true anything between these curly brackets will be executed otherwise if the condition was false it will skip the entire uh, block of code and will go to the line number five okay if the condition was false so let's see a very simple example uh, to better understand uh, the conditional if else statement okay so let's say uh, i want to check if a value is positive or not if it's greater than zero or not okay so let's say i have uh, an object like x is 10 okay i want to see if this is uh, greater than zero is it positive if it was positive print positive otherwise do nothing okay so the way that it works is i will use if else statement okay if x is greater than zero okay then open uh, and close the curly braces and then here type print uh, uh, positive okay so what happens is that uh, first of all uh, first of all first we assign the value of 10 uh, to this object x okay and then goes to this condition inside of the in front of x checks if the condition that 10 is greater than 0 yes true okay so we, we know that the result of the boolean expression is true or false so it will execute the statement between this curly bracket okay so if i run this line of code so now you can see that in the console the positive has been printed okay so now let's change the value of x to uh zero okay so x is don't forget you have to run this code assign x is now zero now if i run this code what's going to happen so it jumps to line seven nothing will be printed okay so zero so it checks the condition is zero greater than zero no so it will skip the entire thing between the curly bracket and goes to the next line so since there is no line of code after this so it's, it will not be executed okay so let's say x is negative three again run the code now x is negative three negative three is negative three greater than zero no so it will not this line of code will not be executed but how about if x is three so you can see that it will be uh, executed anything between the curly bracket will be executed okay so it is not always printing something it can be any other uh, operation okay for example i'm gonna say that if x is greater than zero add two values to x okay so now it's gonna be for example it's three uh, add two values to x and okay so let me remove print so it's not always printing something so x is three right here is x greater than zero yes so it will add two values to x so it's going to be five and then now if you look at the value of x x is now five okay so it's not just printing something it can be anything okay so i just made it very simple it can be any r uh, command between the curly bracket will be executed okay and also it is, it's not just one line of code so okay so it can be multiple line of code okay so it's not just one uh, thing for example it can be y equals to x divided by 10 okay so what happens x is 3 now is x greater than 0 yes so x is going to be 5 and then y is going to be 5 divided by 10 so you can see that y now it's going to be 5 divided by 10 which is half Okay, so it's not just one line of code it can be multiple line of code that will be executed so now let's expand this code uh, so let's go back and so here was print uh, positive right 
if x is greater than zero. So now let's expand this line of code so that if the value was positive, print positive like this, and else print non-positive, okay? So uh, the way that it works is uh, we will use else statement. And uh, so here in front of this closing bracket, I will type else, which is another keyword. And for else, uh, there is not going to be any condition in front of else, okay? So you don't have to open and close the parentheses. You just have to open and close the uh, curly brackets for the else. So an else just print uh, non-positive, okay? So if x is greater than 0, print positive. Otherwise, print non-positive, okay? So else, again, else doesn't have uh, any conditions, and else is only will be evaluated if the first one was not, uh, couldn't be met, if the first condition was false. For example, if this one was false, then else will be evaluated, okay? So the order matters. Order is very important. If the first statement was, uh, if the first statement was true, it will skip else block, the entire block, okay? And another important thing that you should pay attention is that uh, put the else, uh, the word else, in the same line as the closing bracket, okay? So if I, for example, so let's run this line of code first. So x is three, so it will, what, what will be uh, printed? So three is greater than zero, so it will skip else and it will go to line nine and it will print uh, positive, okay? So run this code and then you can see that it prints positive and then it will skip else because, you know, else only will be evaluated if the first condition was false. So let's say x is negative three, okay? So what will happen? So first of all, x is negative three. Is x greater than zero? No, so it will jump to the else and then it will print non-positive, okay? So you can see uh, non-positive has been printed. How about x is zero? Again, zero is greater than zero, no, so print non-positive. But uh, sometimes the students, for example, put else in the next line, and then if you run this line of code, uh, you will see that you will get an error, okay? So, and the reason is that you have to put uh, else in the same line as this closing bracket, okay? So, if you go back, so all of them in the same uh, line as the closing bracket, so you will not get an Else, which is a very common mistake that I see. So else is optional, okay? So you may or may not have else in the conditional statement. So it's not you, it's not necessarily you have to put the else in the if condition, okay? But if is uh, mandatory, but else is optional. Uh, now let's expand this line of code so that if the value, so you can have more than two separate condition, okay? So you, here you had two, right? So you can have more than two separate conditions. So in that case, we will use else if keyword, okay? So the way that it works is, for example, if the value was positive, print positive, else if, so here we add the word else if, and else if, there's a space between else and if, and here you must have a condition, okay? For example, else if x was less than zero, print negative, okay? And finally, else. Else, else doesn't have uh, any condition. For example, print, uh, print, uh, zero. Okay, so what happens is that, okay, so let's run this line of code, x is zero. Is x greater than zero? No, so it will jump to the next one, so the order matters. Is x is less than zero? No, so again, it will jump to the last one, and else it will um, execute anything that is here. Okay, so it will print zero, okay? So let's say x is 10. So 10 is greater than zero, so this 
block of code will be executed and it will skip the entire thing and it will jump to line of 11 okay so x is 10 and then we'll print positive and then jumps to line 11 okay so x is negative 10 so here is negative 10 negative 10 is not greater than 0 but it is less than 0 so it will print this one and it will skip the last one and it will jump to the line 11 one of the issues one of the issues with the above examples was that here the condition uh, couldn't be a vector okay so the length of the condition was just one okay so what if we have a vector let's say x is a vector of uh, for example one two and three and ten okay or let's have another negative value and zero so it will not be executed for each of the uh, elements okay so if i have x this value and then if i run this it will say that the condition has length greater than zero okay and only the first one will be evaluated which is one that's why it will print it positive okay so the problem uh, of the if else statement one of the limitation is that the condition the length of the condition should it should be one and it cannot be applied to a vector only the first element of the vector according to this error so how we can address this issue and to address this issue we use something which is called if else statement okay if else if else statement has three conditions so if we look at this uh, uh, the descriptions if else has three conditions you will have the word if else and then here is your condition if it was true this argument will be, if the condition was true, this argument will be executed. And if the condition was false, this argument will be executed. Okay, so let's see uh, how we can, for example, for this example, how we can apply this. For example, if else, uh, x is greater than zero, okay? So it will print uh, positive. Otherwise print negative okay so so it will be applied for each of these so it will if this is statement for the first one was true the first this uh, argument will be uh, executed which is positive and then for the second one uh, two greater than zero so this one will be three is greater than zero yes negative 10 is greater than zero is not so the second argument will be applied okay and here, uh, zero. Zero is greater than zero? No. Okay, so this one has been uh, executed. So let's say x is uh, 12, 9, 14, 1, 5, 22. Okay, so that's our vector. I want to write a, a conditional, if else condition statement that if the value was even, which means that we know that the definition of even number means that if I divide it by two, the remainder is zero, okay? If I divide the value by two and the remainder was zero, print even. Otherwise, uh, print odd, okay? So it's an odd number. So I would like to check if each element in this vector is odd or even number, okay? Again, even number is if I divide it by two, the remainder is zero, okay? So for example, if X, uh, the modulus two, which means that the remainder was double equal to zero, so it, it means that it's an even number. Otherwise, it's gonna be an odd number, okay? So the if else, so I have to use if else statement because it can be applied to a vector, okay? So if else, so if this condition was true, right so this is our condition if this condition was true just print even otherwise print uh print odd okay so how how this is going to work so if i run this line of code so the first statement uh will be applied uh to the, the first to each element in this vector okay so 12 modulus 2 so if i divide 12 by 2 it's going to be zero the remainder right so it will be print the first argument because this one is true so it will uh, 
be print, uh, it will print even, okay? But nine modulus two is, is it equal to zero? It's not, so the odd will be printed and so on, okay? So if else statement, uh, the advantage of if else function is that it can be worked with the vectorized data compared to the single value.